And that was like one of those moments where like I was finely tuned, he was finely tuned and I was doing really well. I felt like my I was measuring, hitting him with some good shots in that second fight and was busting his nose up and then he ended up catching me with a kick, wobbling me. It's like the, the power area, Robbie, oh, blocked out, but oh, it might have hurt him. Yeah, he staggered. Rory closing in now. Robbie staggered by He's that hurt. kick. He's hurt. He's hit again. Like, just kind of a back and forth fight, but I knew the kind of work that I put in in the first and the kind of shots I was hitting him with were hard shots. Like, and, uh, it was close going into the fifth, and I just felt good. It was like one of those moments where I was like, all right. Actually, the, probably the best that everyone will remember is like, I was thinking at the end of the fourth, like there was that moment where I spit on the ground and I freaking just stared him down. So like, it's kind of funny to go back and watch the fight. What actually was happening wasn't actually happening. So what I was thinking, I was like, why are you running from me? Let's freaking fight. Are we fighting or what? That's what I was thinking in my head. But he was being tactical and like, but that's what I was thinking in my head. Like, let's freaking fight. Like, quit running. And uh, in the, uh, before the fifth round, my coach was like, oh, you need to go in there and freaking finish him. And I, and I was ready, just kind of a lot of excitement. And I came out with just as much energy in that round as I did in the first. Where that came from, I don't know, but it was like, all right, this is my moment. I'm jacked up. The crowd there was electric that night. So I'm feeding off of them and, and this is my moment. And uh, I just hit him with some good shots. Lands it. He's, hurt. He's hurt. This may be it. It's it. That's it, it is all over. Wow. Robbie Lola remains the welterweight champion. But the shots were only good because of all the work I put in before in those earlier rounds where it was like, oh, this guy's not going to stop. This guy's not going to stop. And this, my body's not feeling that good. My, he, he took me to the edge and uh, he went to the edge there and I just came out on top. But it, it, was, it was a battle and, and uh, I think the fans loved it. It, it was a good fight, but what, I think what made it really good was just like the back and forth. Like, all right, I'm doing real well, being real technical. I felt like I was controlling stuff until I wasn't. And then boom, and then you get hurt or wobbled. It, then it's, some people look for a way out, right? Some people just look for a way out. Oh, tonight's my night. But I was like, nope, I'm good. I might be wobbled, but like my mind was there. It was like, all right, like, I made sure that even though he was coming with elbows and lots of punches that I was like, Big John, I'm okay. You know, like, don't stop this. Cause you know, like sometimes after you get wobbled and guys throwing a lot of punches, I wanted to make sure like, hey, I'm freaking good. Like, don't stop this. <laughs> you know, like you never know. Like sometimes fighters are like, oh, I'm fine. It was like, yeah, but you weren't showing it. So you want to make sure you let them know. And, yeah, it, I think it was one of my best fights as far as fans go. I mean, some of my best fights were losses that I felt like I, where I came in and like showed who I was and, 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 and it, humble in defeat. Like when I fought Johnny Hendricks the first time, I was enjoying myself, like freaking having fun, rolling with punches, coming back, kind of laughing at the things he was doing not the things he was doing necessarily like i'm like that kick was weak what are you doing trying like i'm thinking in my head you're just trying to score points or something i'm trying to knock you out like you know just the humor i'm thinking in a fight and he ended up it was close going into the fifth he ended up uh hitting me with a nice clean left i think i was going for like a check hook and and wobbled me got a takedown and it was like i was close I was close to winning the title there, but it was like, what do I need to do to get better? I need to do more. And that's what I said after the fight. It was like, I trained, I did all the right things, but I need to do more of the right things. So it was just like, and I was humbled by that. I was like, all right, let's, let's get back and, and go to battle and work my way back up.
And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Oh, it's more exciting because I showed everyone I'm a true fighter. I come to fight. No matter what happens, I keep coming, and I'm trying to knock people out. What went through your mind at that moment? That was accumulation of a beatdown. That was in one punch. That was years of fighting right there. Coming to fruition. I'm the champ. I'm here to stay. Robbie Lawler, ladies and gentlemen. Ruthless Robbie Lawler remains the UFC welterweight champion.